A short film entitled Allergy to Originality addresses the idea that the concept of originality in the creative arts is probably inauthentic. It's frustrating to discover that one of your favorite works of art is basically just a renewal and quotations of works that preceded it, or as Shakespeare wrote, there is nothing new except what was before. Plato's concept of authentic creativity is completely different from the ideas proposed by Cleon and Ferguson. According to Plato's theory of forms and ideals, creativity is the process of discovering and expressing the essence of eternal, immutable forms or ideas that exist in the world of ideals. Transcending the material world Artists and creators are just imitators of these forms. Plato says in his dialogue The Republic, a painter will draw a cobbler, a carpenter, or any other artist, although he knows nothing about their art and whether he is a good artist. He may deceive children or simple people when he shows them his portrait of a carpenter from a distance, and they will delude that they are looking at a real carpenter. The physicist and philosopher David Baum disagrees with Cleon and Ferguson in that he emphasizes that creativity is a process of exploring the deeper and interrelated integrative nature of existence rather than reshaping and transforming existing ideas. Baum believes that true creativity comes from a deeper source within us, original and not derived from what previously existed. For Baum, it comes from a deeper insight into the interconnected nature of things in existence. As Baum says, In the creative process, the mind responds in a new way to some quality inherent in the perceived object. One not only reproduces what he has learned or deduced, but creates a new kind of system. Creative perception is the vision of a new order in an old thing. Excuse me. Has Hollywood developed uh, an allergy to originality? How do you mean? I mean, every movie playing is a, a sequel or a prequel or an adaptation or a spin-off or just completely derivative. I want to know why. <laughs> Through all the history of literature and of the arts in general, works of art are for a large part repetitions of the tradition entire history of artistic creativity belong plagiarism, literary theft, appropriation, incorporation, retelling, rewriting, recapitulation, revision, reprise, thematic variation, ironic retake, parody, imitation, stylistic theft, pastiches, collages, and deliberate assemblages. There is no rigorous and precise distinction between practices like imitation, stylistic plagiarism, copy, replica, and forgery. These appropriation procedures are the main axis of a literate culture in which the tradition of the canonic past is being constantly rewritten. These appropriation procedures vital to the whole history of art have gained more and more importance since the beginning of the 20th century with the boom of the modernist and postmodern movements. In modernist and postmodernist art, appropriation has been heightened as the central and representative device. Well, is that so? Well, that's really fascinating. Where'd you learn all that? The Wikipedia page on plagiarism, word for word. Oh, <laughs> I get it. Is that your way of saying that nothing is really original? The concept of originality is culturally contingent. It became an ideal in Western culture starting from the 18th century. In contrast, at the time of Shakespeare, it was common to appreciate more the similarity with an admired classical work, and Shakespeare himself avoided unnecessary invention. Wikipedia? Yep, the originality page. I see. What are you, some kind of Wikipedia repeating robot? Or do you have any original ideas of your own, 